Thank you for this opportunity. Please grant me the strength to effectively showcase my skills during the interview. May your guidance lead me to get this job. I hope you have a plan for me. Amen. Miss Debbie, you may come to your interview. Debbie, we are impressed with your skills and experience. We would like to offer you the position. Can you start immediately? Absolutely. Thank you very much. I am delighted to contribute to the team. Welcome aboard, Debbie. We look forward to having you with us. I'll show you around your office. Debbie, I'd like you to meet Anna. She'll be your office mate and a great resource as you settle in. Nice to meet you, Anna. Likewise, Debbie. I'm glad to have you on the team. If you have any questions or need assistance, we're here to help. Welcome to the team. This doesn't seem normal. Debbie, are you okay? You seem a little under the weather. Maybe you should take a break and see if you're feeling better. We have an office nurse. Let me show you around. I don't feel well. Something with this headache. Anna, I can't explain it, but it doesn't feel right. It's almost like something is wrong. Debbie, it could just be stress or maybe something you ate. Let's focus on helping you. You were going to get first aid. It's strange. How did I suddenly feel better the moment Anna left? Why did I have this strange experience on the first day? It doesn't add up. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Or maybe there is a logical explanation. I should focus on my work and give her some time. I can't believe they put me in competition with another woman. This isn't what I wanted. Debbie has a good mind. What if she finds out about my abilities? I have to be careful. It wouldn't be good if Debbie found out about my secret. I have to find a way to change this arrangement. Sign number one. You suddenly feel sick and unsteady whenever a witch is around you. Have you ever stepped on something and suddenly felt like your head was empty and you were dizzy, or suddenly felt sick and wanted to throw up? This could be the presence of a witch or an unclean spirit. Most people don't even understand or feel it. Because they are spiritually weak, it takes a person with a discerning spirit to sense it and understand that something is wrong. Whenever you feel this kind of feeling, immediately start praying against witches and unclean spirits and leave the area as soon as possible. Where did I keep my desk planner? I thought I left it in my drawer. Why can't I find it anywhere? Where can I check? Did I forget it at home? Maybe it's in my locker. I'll just check the locker room. Oh no, I can't even figure out which locker is mine. That keeps confusing me too. Is it this or that? I think of this one. It should be here. What is it? What is a talisman doing in this locker? There are other strange objects in here too. A black mirror too. There is a pentacle in here too. Wow, that's strange. This can't be my locker. I think I checked the wrong locker. Debbie, what are you looking for in my space? I'm so sorry, I didn't know it was yours. I thought it was mine. If you are unsure about something, ask questions. Don't intrude on people's privacy. I'm so sorry, I didn't know. I actually thought it was mine. Anyway, I just don't like it when people intrude. I will be more careful from now on. This girl is so annoying. She really challenges me. How dare she? That's why I don't like having a woman in my office. What are these items doing in Anna's locker? A talisman and a pentacle. Could this be related to the strange experience I had earlier? I need to know more about it. Anna doesn't fit the stereotype of a witch. But these items were definitely unusual. I need to find out what's going on. If something strange happens, I need to be prepared. I'll keep an eye out for anything unusual and try to figure out what's behind it all. Sign number two. You will always find spiritual and superstitious objects in their possession. Which is always have spiritual tools with which they work in their business. Objects like candles, pentacle, mirrors, broom, talisman incense and many other objects. If you see two or more of these objects in the possession of a person, then there is a tendency that this person is a witch. You must observe them closely with the help of the next sign that I am going to show you. Heavenly Father, 
I thank you for today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the work you have given me. Please search my heart and show me if I have made work, money, status or people more important than you. I repent of idolatry in my heart, where I have knowingly or unknowingly participated in spiritism or pagan rituals and festivals at work, I am sorry. Please grant me your favor and establish the work you have given me, despite my situation, so that I can testify of your goodness. I will give all praise and glory to your name. I declare aloud in this workplace that the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob is the Lord of my work and my field of work. I declare that I am seated in heavenly places with Jesus and I fully trust in the power of Jesus' name to break down ungodly spiritual strongholds around my work. At his name, every knee must bow. In the name of Jesus, I command all unclean spirits that have attached themselves to objects and operated in this place to leave in the name of Jesus. I forbid you to oppose me in my work in this place. I destroy lucky charms and objects of witchcraft and superstition. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus to cleanse and protect this place from all darkness. Let his divine light surround us. Holy Spirit, please come and reside in my work area and remove every barrier that is blocking the good work that my Heavenly Father has given me. I pray for God's blessing on my workspace and I bind the plans of Satan to anyone who enters it. In the name of Jesus, I cancel every word of hatred or curse spoken against me or my work. I forgive and bless all professional or political enemies and ask that peace and knowledge of God's truths come to them and their families. May they all seek you and find the one true God. Holy Spirit, please convict those with evil intentions and draw them into the loving arms of the Father. In Jesus' name, Amen. Something is wrong. I feel the presence of something strong in this place. I feel like my power is leaving me. This is not appropriate for the workplace. This is an office, not a place of prayer. Anna, I respect your concerns, but I have the right to practice my faith. The restroom is the only private space available at this time. Debbie, I don't want you praying in the office anymore. It's inappropriate. It's just not something we do in the workplace. Keep it to yourself. I can't stop praying. Prayer is my life. Besides, I'm in the bathroom, not the office and I wasn't even loud, so I wonder how you heard me. I don't think the company prohibits prayer. You can pray at home, not just here. You are a nuisance and disturbing our peace. Oh really? I didn't know my prayer was disturbing your peace. Sign number three, they become uncomfortable and irritated whenever you pray with them. According to the word of God in John chapter one verse five, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not received it. One thing witches cannot resist is the prayer of a devout Christian. They cannot bear it at all. Once you start praying, they become uncomfortable and start reacting. That is why you see them manifesting in churches during prayers. Prayer disturbs witches and weakens their power. So, if you ever suspect someone to be a witch, always pray when they are around. Try to observe their reaction and make sure that you are filled with the spirit when you pray because they may angrily try to attack you spiritually. to be spiritually equipped for whatever happens in this office. If Anna is involved in something dark, I need to be ready. Lord, grant me strength and discernment. I will stand firm in the face of any spiritual challenge. This Debbie is becoming a thorn in my flesh. She is becoming too loud and trying to pose as an opposition. I will make sure she leaves this office the same way all the other employees did before she arrived. She needs to leave before she exposes me. She will not last another day in this office. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. By the power of I call upon the spirits to wreak havoc in Debbie's life. May she face obstacles in despair. You will not spend another day in this office. By the powers of darkness, I command sickness and death upon Debbie. May she suffer and waste away. You will fall ill this instant and will never recover. You will never set foot in this office again. Something is wrong. I rebuke every evil force that might try to harm me. By the power of God, I resist the darkness. 
Numbers 23 verse 23 says, There shall be no enchantment against Jacob, nor any divination against Israel. Wherever my name is mentioned right now, I come against you in the name of Jesus. According to your word in Psalm 18 verse 44 to 45, As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit to me. Foreigners shall disappear and be afraid of their near places. I come against them in the name of Jesus. It is above every other name. Every pot of darkness sitting against my life be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every satanic agenda emanating from the cauldron of darkness be reversed in the name of Jesus. I command every pot and evil concoction used against my life to shatter into pieces in the name of Jesus. Debbie, Debbie, I call upon your spirit here at this moment. Let judgment be pronounced upon you now in the name of Jesus. I command that every altar of wickedness built against me be broken in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54, 17 No weapon formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises against me in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Let the fire of God come down and consume every altar of false religion in this land in the name of Jesus. I command that every altar of wickedness built against me be broken in the name of Jesus. Luke 10 19 says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Every witchcraft coven that is my picture or image be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. O Lord, let your thunder and fire locate every clan of witches and sorcerers set against me for total destruction. I shed the blood of Jesus upon my life. No evil shall prevail over my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. What's going on? Help. Fire. 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 Debbie, I wanted to inform you that Anna will no longer be working with us. She has resigned for personal reasons. Oh, I, I didn't expect that. Is everything okay? Debbie, given your dedication and the unexpected vacancy, I would like to offer you the opportunity to take over Anna's position. Your skills have stood out and I believe you will excel in this role. Thank you very much for this opportunity. I am ready to take up the challenge. Of course, darkness cannot stand light. When power meets power, the lower power always bows. Anna could not stand the light in Debbie so she had to resign. If you see these three signs, do not take them for granted. Act quickly. It could be the presence of a witcher or an unclean spirit. Destroy their mission with a powerful warfare prayer against witches. This also reminds us that witches do not just look scary and obvious. Most of them look like normal humans walking among other people. They are everywhere in our workplaces, schools, community, families and some are even in church. It only takes a spiritually strong and insightful person to spot them. I pray that God will give us the spirit of discernment to be able to identify them in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please share it. Please support the channel by clicking the subscribe button below, like our video, leave your contributions or experience in the comments section below, and don't forget to turn on channel post notifications for more interesting and life-changing videos. God bless you.